Amidst raging protests over the Libyan foreign minister's meeting with the Israeli counterpart, the country's prime ministers visit the Palestinian embassy in Tripoli. Now, the interim prime minister has further vowed that there will be no normalization of ties with the state of Israel. Now, during his visit to the Palestinian embassy, the prime minister said that he had no knowledge of the foreign minister's meeting in Rome and added that their meeting was pre-planned. Now, according to Reuters, an Israeli official said that the meeting between the two officials had lasted for about two hours and was approved at the highest levels in Libya. Now, soon after the meeting, violent protests in fact took over the streets of several Libyan cities and led to the temporary suspension of the foreign minister. Of course not. Honestly, we are against normalization. These Jews are our enemies. They displaced the Palestinian people and treat them with no mercy and are not giving them any part of their rights. We condemn this meeting with Israel, especially if the normalization was planned and if this meeting really happened and it is not staged or something, then honestly, this is not acceptable to Libyans. After the suspension, the foreign minister will now undergo an administrative investigation by a justice minister chaired commission. However, according to media reports, the foreign minister fled to Turkey soon after the news broke, which is of course expected to hinder the investigations. Even though Israel has normalized relations with some Arab nations in recent years as part of the U.S.-backed deals known as the Abraham Accords, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's hardline government has time and again come under intense criticism from Arab states. This is because of the surging violence in the West Bank and for backing the expansion of Jewish settlements in the territory. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.